According to information provided to us by the Red Bluff Police Department, we now know the driver was 25 year old Riker K from Hood River, Oregon, and that he was fighting with his girlfriend in the River Park parking lot across the street before he took off in his truck and began driving recklessly, ultimately crashing into the motel, causing major damage to two buildings. At around 3.30, police re received multiple calls of a collision at the Red Bluff Inn on Main Street. Officers were then told that he had fled the scene on foot and made it several blocks away when police attempted to detain him. They say he resisted arrest and even kicked one officer in the process. A canine was deployed and was successful in getting Kay detained. I spoke with a resident who witnessed it all happen. I just saw a whole bunch of police and a guy running and then they tackled him. Was told from several people that the guy came from the boat ramp, mad at his girlfriend and jumped the medians and pushed up the rocks and the trees there and then came across and shoved the trash can into one house and his truck into the other. Kay was taken to a local hospital for treatment of injuries sustained in the crash and his arrest and to be medically cleared and evaluated for being under the influence. A 75 year old individual who was staying in the room where the crash occurred was also taken to a hospital to be treated for minor injuries. I also spoke with Kay's girlfriend about the events that led up to him recklessly driving off and into the motel. She tells me he has suffered from mental health issues in the past and was having one of his episodes. He's just started saying a lot of things that were very off the wall and um, indicated that he was entering into psychosis. Started trying to convince me of thoughts that he was having in his own mind. So we started fighting because I told him that I didn't feel like either of us were safe if he didn't let me drive us to a hotel. And that's when Kay hopped in the truck and drove off recklessly across Main Street, losing control and crashing into the motel. Red Bluff police say this is still an inv active investigation and Kay will be charged with felony DUI and hit and run with injury, as well as resisting a peace officer and two misdemeanor battery charges. Tyler Van Dyke, The North States News.